In this Ad Skills tutorial, we're going to be talking about Facebook's social engagement custom audiences. So, if this is the first time you're watching an Ad Skills video, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher. I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and we're super excited to have you. So, in this video, we're talking about Facebook and engagement custom audiences. So, basically, what we're talking about is Facebook gives us the ability to bucket and segment users based on their engagements with different pieces of our profile. So that could be our Facebook or our Instagram profile. Those could be posts, videos, lead forms, all different kinds of things. So we'll get into that here in just a second. But the reason we like them is because we have the ability to retarget or find lookalikes to help us scale our campaigns. But I'll get into that in just a second. The one thing I wanna talk about is that these types of custom audiences are just one of four types. So we also have the ability to use our customer lists combined with lifetime value to upload to Facebook and tell them, hey, these are our existing customers, go find more. We can segment our website traffic for better retargeting and lookalike audiences. We've got our engagement audience we're talking about in this video. We can use our offline event interaction data to upload as well and say, this is what happened offline that we'd like to now find more customers online. So really amazing technology. There's a card in the upper right hand corner that's gonna link you to the other three videos so you can check those out too. But make sure you check them all out. It's important to have these set up before you start advertising to make sure that you can use them to retarget and scale your campaigns when the time comes. So in regards to the engagement custom audiences, I just like to talk about how they make your life better. Retargeting and expanded targeting. So basically what we're doing is we're bucketing our, our users and telling Facebook, okay, Here's what our engagers look like. People who liked or interacted with a post or an ad, people who watched a certain amount of video, uh, just giving them the ability to go through and slice and dice. You know, it's one of those things that we go through and set this up before we ever spend a penny because we want Facebook to start getting the data that we're gonna be able to use. Uh, when, we, when it's got that data, A, it can help us retarget. So if someone's watched 75% of our video but not converted on our website, we can say, great, we saw that they, you know, they watched 75%, didn't convert. We want to go through and build a retargeting audience for them. The other thing we can do is go through and say, you know, for people who interacted with our ads, we want you to go find and more people in a lookalike audience. That's kind of the way we can go through and use this to expand our targeting using lookalike audiences. So uh, the biggest thing I'll say is the more specific the action, the better the result. Typically, when I was going to build a lookalike audience, rather than just saying someone who interacted with our ad, I want to say someone who watched 75% of our video, if we're doing a video ad, that's really important to say these people are clearly engaged with the ad unit. We want you to go find more people like this. So that's really kind of how we utilize this engagement audience when it comes to scaling our campaigns. So a um, couple type, couple ways that we can actually go through and segment our engagement. So video engagement, profile interaction on Facebook or Instagram, opening a lead form. So that's either opening, opening and submitting, opening and not submitting. Uh, there's all the different cut downs there. And then finally, Facebook events. Now, in previous videos, when we talk about events, I'm talking about standard and custom events where you're firing pieces of information from your website. In this one, I'm talking about the actual calendar event. So if you say we've got something come up coming up next week and people say they're interested in going, that's what you can use to segment your visitors based on engagement. So uh, those are the most common uses. There's a couple others they continue to mix in, but these are the four we kind of stick to. So what do you need in order to use these? Well, we have to have an active Facebook ads account and you have to have content already uploaded to Facebook to track the engagement. So you can't just build an audience that says, I want you to keep track of people who watch 75% of all of my videos, that would be super cool. But you already have to have existing videos that you're gonna go through and use that to segment. So let's head over to Facebook and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm in my asset library. If you don't know how to get here, on the upper left-hand corner, you go to all tools and then you're gonna click on audiences. And this is how you go come in and you start making your audiences. So we're gonna click to create a new audience, a custom audience. And you can see down here, the last one is engagement. So we've got in here, video, lead form, full screen experience. These are canvases or collection ads, Facebook page, Instagram business profile, and event. So the ones that we use primarily, video, lead form, Facebook page, Instagram profile, event, the full screen experience, you know, we just, we've tried a lot of canvases and haven't had a ton of success with them. That's why we don't really use them. It uh, doesn't mean you can't. If you're having success with canvases, you should absolutely use these. It's just why we don't use them and talk about them a whole lot. So I'm just going to give you an example of one. We'll do a video. So if we do a video content type, you've got the ability to segment people who watched at least three seconds, 10 seconds, 25, 50, 75, 95. Once again, 75 to me is a very clear, like, here's a good point. We want to go through and build the line here then you have to choose your videos. So this is my example video. I'm just gonna click confirm, uh, 365 days, and I'll call this uh, example video views. 
So this is just go through there, click create audience. Now we've got that in here. Um, you can create an ad using an audience. So this would be basically going through and creating a retargeting audience to go through and say people who've watched this video, let's go through and serve them another ad. Or you can build a lookalike audience. So way you build lookalikes, if you come over to your example video views, check mark, actions, create lookalike, you can go through and create lookalikes from there. You can add them to your existing campaigns, either as exclusions, which we call burn audiences, or you can use them to retarget. There's a million different things you can do. You know, building up your audience asset portfolio before you begin is really important. To make sure that you've got these predetermined buckets that you can use for targeting, retargeting, exclusions, that's what really makes this so valuable. If you have any questions or any of this wasn't clear, make sure you post your comments down below. If you'd like specific help with your Facebook campaigns, make sure to check out our Pro League forum. It's a place where we answer questions from our customers all day about the specifics of their profiles. We'd love to help Justin, myself, and tons of other advertisers who've spent millions of dollars on Facebook. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like more information about how to succeed with paid traffic, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified every time we put out a new video. Second, text Daily Edge to 44222. We'll send you a link to our daily newsletter, which has more than 20,000 subscribers learning about the bleeding edge information in paid traffic. Thanks so much. Have a great day.